This calculation is for N5 Electrotechnics, and we are in Module 1, DC Machines, and this makes up 20% of our curriculum. Now, before we take a look at the example, let's just look at the EMF equation. Big letter E is the generated EMF in volts. Small letter P is the number of pole pairs. C is the number of parallel pods. If it's wave wound, C is equal to 2. If it's lap wound, C is equal to 2 times small letter P. The flux per pole measured in Weber. Z is the total number of armature conductors. N is the speed in revolutions per minute. And just take a look at some calculations that give you the speed in revs per second. Right, in example 1.1 on page 6. A six pole shunt wound DC motor draws 15 kilowatts from a 300 volt supply while operating at full load. The shunt field and armature resistances are 150 ohms and 0.25 ohms respectively. The armature is the lap wound and rotates at 800 revs per minute. Calculate the following if the useful flux per pole is 35 milliweber. So first of all, let's take a look at our circuit diagram. Now for a shunt motor, it draws current from the supply. Most of the current goes through the armature and a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. The resistance inside the armature is called RA and our parallel resistor is called R shunt. It is the armature assembly that generates the back EMF and for a motor, it's mechanical out and electrical in. And for the circuit to operate, we need some terminal voltage across the terminals. So next thing is to write down all the information that is given. So first of all, it is a six pole machine. So therefore we have uh, three pairs. The input power is equal to the output power because there is no efficiency given to us. So we assume our machine is 100% percent efficient and we have 15,000 watts right the terminal voltage across the terminals is 300 volts and the armature resistance which is RA that's the smaller resistance that is 0.25 ohms and then our shunt resistance our shunt is 150 ohms this uh, machine is a lap wound, so therefore C is equal to 2 times the number of pole pairs. 2 times 3, therefore there are 6 parallel pods, which is the same as the number of poles for lap wound. The speed in uh, revolutions per minute is 800 revs per minute. And we have a useful flux per pole of 35 milliweber. Now to convert milliweber to weber, you can times by 10 to the power of minus 3, or you can divide by 1,000, and that will be in Weber. Right, now we can actually go ahead and calculate the back EMF. This is a shunt circuit, so there's only two volt drops, so it's going to be V minus IA, RA. There's no uh, shunt, uh, sorry, what's it called, brush contact voltage. There's no brush contact voltage across the brushes, so that's going to be... If you want, you can even put there minus zero if you want to make it easier for yourself. Okay, so the terminal voltage is uh, 300 volts. And this is where we need to now work out the armature current. The armature resistance is the smaller resistance. So it's times 0.25. Right, so let's go ahead and calculate IA. Okay, so for a shunt motor, IA is equal to IL minus I shunt. To calculate the supply current, it's going to be power over voltage because it's a DC circuit. And then to calculate the shunt current, it's going to be V over R shunt. Just remember for all motors, we use the input power. Um, in this instance, our power is the same. It's 15,000 watts divided by the voltage of 300. And to, to subtract the shunt current, the terminal voltage is 300 and the shunt resistance is 150. So we end up with uh, 50 amperes minus 2 amperes and that gives us 48 amperes for our armature current. So we substitute that here, 48 amperes and therefore we are, our back EMF is going to be uh, 288 volts.
Right, next question. Calculate the total number of armature conductors. So here we're going to use the EMF equation. 2 times P times N times Z times flux all over C times 60. Right, we need to calculate Z, which is the total number of armature conductors. So Z is going to be equal to E times number of parallel pods times 60. Okay, all over 2 times pole pairs times the speed and times the flux. All right, so all we have to do now is substitute. Our EMF is 288. We've just calculated that. It is lap wound, so therefore 2 times 3 will give us 6 parallel pods and multiply by 60 over 2. It is 3 pairs. The speed is 800 revs per minute. And the flux per pole is going to be 35 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Therefore, the total number of armature conductors is uh, 617,143. And if you want just to put some units here, you can call it conductors. Right, now we need to determine the number of conductors per slot if there are 100 slots. So therefore, Z is equal to the slots multiply by the number of conductors per slot. Okay, so if there are 100 slots, Z is uh, 617,143. And they say there are 100 slots. So now to calculate the number of conductors per slot, just a little bit of mathematics there. 617,143 divided by 100. That will give us 6,17. Now you can't have a tiny little uh, piece of conductor, so we round it off and we normally round it up. So it's going to be 7 conductors per slot. Alright, that's it. Thanks guys for watching the first video for N5 Electrotechniques.